Hello everyone, welcome again and today in this video I'm going to show you demonstration of another Java project. This is JSP and Servlet project. So the project name is Add Space Booking. So where we can book the rental properties I guess and uh, yeah book the rooms and hotels something like that. So some uh, property have a space and they want to book it. So it's all about that. So if I talk about the tools and technology this project is using JSP Servlet. So if you go here and go to the resources, uh, not the resources, SRC, uh, main, you will see the BAVF folder. Under that, you will find the BAV INF and uh, like resources are there, JSPs are there. So it's using JSP and under the JSP, they are using HTML and CSS code. And apart from that, from the backend side, like we have a Deans classes, we have a controllers. So controllers are come from the servlet side. So controller is implementing the servlet. Models are there. <clears throat> so it's a simple project. You can say the minor or major project for the college student. So I'm going to run it and show you how the features and functionalities are working over there for it. So in order to run it, uh, I just need to perform some operations. But uh, before that, let's talk about the backend database that, it's, that this project is using. So it's using MySQL database and it's my current MySQL workbench window. And here you can see when you see the different tables are there, bookings tables, payment space and user tables. So when I, uh, if you want to view the data of any table, just right click on the table like this, like the first option, you will be able to see it. Okay, now the main point, how can you grab this code? So I'm going to upload this over the YouTube as a demo, but it's a paid project. So you have to pay some manual charges for it because uh, why we are charging for it? Because uh, like, like we will provide the complete remote support. It means, it means <clears throat> after sharing the code, uh, we will do the setup complete code at your machine and make sure it's working same as those in the demo. So we uh, charge some minimal charges for that. So you can just grab it and take the support. So my team member will connect with you by Zoom and do the setup, complete setup at your machine. So let's check out the demo, how the things are working over there. So once you will take this project from us, we'll do the setup like this. And after that, you need to follow the steps that I'm going to show you in this video. So the very first step, just go here uh, over the root folder of the project, right click on it, go to run as, run on server, select the server, click on next, click on finish. When you do this, it will automatically launch over your Chrome browser, okay, <clears throat> or the browser, default browser that you have set by, for the uh, window. Let me close all the other tabs here. So uh, what things you will see here, you will see the different uh, uh, sliders there uh, with the different images, space booking, uh, it's highlighting and the footer is there. Home section, when you click in the home, it will redirect you at the same page. Uh, sign up, okay. So login. Uh, so under the sign up, what you can do, you, you have a different roles like admin and user. So you can write as a uh, data as an admin as well and the user as well. If you see the data of this user in this user table, like we have one admin user and you can define the user role like this is the admin, this is the user. So let's say register as a new admin, okay? And then see what the features and functionalities are working over there. Let's say I say new admin at the red gmail.com and password demo at the red 123. I'm keeping, you can keep it anything. The demo at the red 123, again the password, the first name, let's say admin new, I can say new admin. And the last name is new admin. You can keep anything. Valid phone number, so I'm just keeping 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 digit phone number. Select the role, let's say I say admin user and click on submit. You will see the edit successfully. It means when you refresh your database, you will be see the new record here as an admin user. Now I can log in with this user and see what admin can perform. Then, so to log in with this user, just go here, sign in and go here and enter the password demo at the red 123. If you forget the password, you can go over here and check this password field. You will be easily able to get the password from this password field. And, and I hit the sign in button. Yeah, I don't want to save it in my Chrome browser. So here we have one option to add a space. Okay, so let's say I'm admin user, <clears throat> so I can add a new space. So uh, what is the name of a space? So space name, let's say, Let's say, uh, 
xyz apartment i can say and then location let's say i am putting it in the door and area of size let's say 500 5000 square feet a type let's say for rent i want to put it the company let's say xyz company duration date like from which it will be available so let's say it's like like previous dates are disabled so you can select it from the current date uh, it from it from this date this space will be available and rupees are like like price let's say i'm gonna say price will be 50k or you can say 5k okay here we have to upload some images for that rental property so i don't have some image but i'm going to for demonstration i'm putting some images over there so let's say i'm going to upload this one okay and we have some other rental property images no i'm going to use this images okay so you can use the real time images but uh, for a demonstration i don't have that uh, property image so i'm using this so i uploaded three images over there i click to add space you can say space is added now if you see the space table as well you will see the new record entered over there with three images nice so now if you go to the space section you will be able to see the newly added apartment xyz apartment in the location if you click to the view image it will show you this pop-up and here you can scroll and check the images <clears throat> also if you want to delete you can just hit the delete button it will delete it from the database okay and now let's see for the view bookings so this uh, these are the previous bookings and here we have a confirm bookings so when someone requests you uh, about the property the request will become here and you can click on the confirm cancel or delete three options are there for the bookings and under the payment list section you can check the payment list or uh, that is done by the user okay so I'm just keeping it login and in another uh, my private window I'm going to log in as an end user okay as a customer so let's say I'm going to sign it as a customer so for a customer I'm just adding the pause uh, email id would be at the red gmail.com and the password again demo at the red one two three demo at the red one two three and the first name let's say would be second name let's say Patel okay now I'm going to enter the some one Ten digit number so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and the important thing is the role so let's say i'm a user or customer i just submitted it when i check my database user table you will be see the new record is there with this detail that we have just entered and okay now log in with this user so email was uh whoopi at the red gmail.com and here i'm going to pass a demo at the red one two three click on the sign in okay what user can do after login so user can check the beautiful this home page and the space so user can view all the space but if you notice here the user doesn't have an option to delete it okay because user is a customer and user he can't delete the property so he can just view the images check the details of the property over here click on the book space let's say i'm going to book it book this space so type uh, we need uh, like we, we need to enter some 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 locations some details over here so let's say from which date i need this so it's available from the 16 so let's say i'm going to book it from 18 to 18 to 18 to 23 okay and type we need for rent we can enter our type on the book space your space booking is submitted wait for the confirmation now if i go to the admin side check my booking details and you will see the new request come from for the expired date apartment and we have option to confirm it or delete it so i just click on the confirm and now if i view that request is confirmed and now we will check the confirmation detail i will you will see the new record over here and if i move to user side uh, what user can see user can see the booking detail uh, booking uh, details and status here so uh, you can see the status is confirmed now now user will be able to pay for it so if you go here over the user side over the admin side you will see like 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 let's say payment list into the payment list we don't have that user 
because it's not done the payment yet. So what we have to do as a user, I can click on the pay now, I enter my card detail, expiration detail, let's say 526, CVV number 1234, full name for the card holder, price is static, click on pay now, the payment is done. Okay, now if you see here, the payment is completed and if I go here again and check the payment list, you will see the new record over there. So, this is all about the project uh, space booking, uh, it's for the students. Uh, so, if you want to it, you can just connect us over the mail or Skype or uh, WhatsApp, we'll, we'll, we'll connect with you, we'll do the setup and do the complete setup with your machine. And if you are looking for the inter internal things like it's following the MBC architecture, that's a Java project, uh, have a Maven, <coughs> Maven configuration, so it's a Maven project again you can say connected with uh, MySQL JDBC data, MySQL database by JDBC. So yeah, some common things are there, they are there like, like it's following the MBC, so it's, you can say it's following the industry standards, so it will be a good choice. Apart from the project, you will get the project report as well. Apart from with the project, you will get the project report as well. So thank you. 